Hey guys, welcome back. Ashley D. Will here, author, teacher, life coach. So today's video, we're going to talk about the purpose of this channel, which I think is very important. But before we do that, I want to say that the videos, for those of you who don't know, uh, in re the recent three or four months and in the future, are not for me in real time. In other words, I will do two, three, four, five, six videos in a short period of time and I will schedule them two per week out two, three, four weeks at a time. So if you see me and you ask me a question and you say, the last video that you just did, I had a question about this, I'm probably not going to remember which one it is because if you've just seen it, that means I have done it and put it out to be published ahead of time and that could have been a month or two ago. Okay, so just know that the videos are not in real time for me. I just throw them out there, schedule them a couple times a week uh, in the order that the Lord tells me to. So I want to review for those of you who are subscribers and you haven't heard me cover this topic, that the purpose of this channel is important and I want you to understand it because it puts all the videos I'm doing in context. So there are many reasons why the Lord has had me start this channel. Um, some of the reasons are for me to use my spiritual gifts. Some of my gifts are teaching, discernment, exhortation, prophecy, and wisdom. So obviously I'm using those on this channel. That's one of the purposes of this channel. Um, I have different jobs in the context of this channel. My jobs are to use my gifts for God's glory, to speak out what I see going on, whatever the Lord has me focus on, and then to feed the sheep and to teach others what the Lord has taught me. Those are some of the jobs I have on this channel. Next, there's a process that has taken place for me to get to the place where I'm doing videos this frequently and doing videos at all. And I'll let you know that it was not, not, not me who initiated this whole idea. It was not me and I cannot stress that enough and I cannot underline that enough. The Lord initiated me doing this YouTube channel. It was his idea. He came to me in my basement and said, I want you to do a YouTube channel. Okay, what happened? I resisted for like three weeks. I just had trouble with that idea because <laughs> you know my history. I would never do that on my own. Nevertheless, he empowered me and I followed. And so I followed more and more closely and more and more precisely. What I'm getting in these videos are his ideas, his topics, his titles. He gives them to me, okay? They're his words, mostly. I use some of my words that he leads me to use. I'm giving a lot of personal testimony about my one-on-one -on -one relationship with him and many different things he's done in my life. Most of the channel is heart-focused. Uh, it's a very authentic channel, a transparent channel, and it is here to glorify the Lord. Okay, that's the process I went through and some of the purposes of the channel. And the outflow of the channel is different, okay? This is where there is a boundary, and I'm going to try to explain that to you. So, anyone can watch this channel, right? It's a public channel. No one has to watch it or is certainly being forced to watch it, right? People can watch it if they want. If they don't want to, they don't have to. It is my understanding between me and the Lord that the Holy Spirit brings who he wants to watch this channel. Okay, that is not my business, who he brings. The content on the channel is between you, the viewer, and the Holy Spirit. That's the context of this channel. I, and I've told you this, that I'm open and completely fine with questions, comments, opinions, anything at all. That is perfectly fine. But there's a boundary between me and the viewers, and it's a very healthy boundary. And I'm going to try to explain that to you. The Lord gives me 
these different things over here that I explained. His ideas, his topics, his scriptures, his, you know, if the topic was legalism, he would give me that and show me what he wanted me to say and, and what he wanted me to put on the board. So I'm receiving from the Lord and I am pouring out this information and different things on this channel, right? So I'm receiving from the Lord and I'm kind of handing, receiving batons from the Lord and handing them out like this. That's what this channel is, is I'm just handing out batons, if you will. So there's boundary here. This dotted line is a boundary. And that's because I'm receiving batons and handing them out. The boundary is there because whether the viewer receives the baton or how much he receives the baton is not my business. See, that's why there's a question mark there. I can hand out batons all day long, but if nobody wants to grab the baton and hold on to it and run with it, that is their issue and their issues are between them and God. So the boundary is I'm to receive and deliver as a messenger. Receive and deliver, receive and deliver, receive and deliver. And a lot of times after I do a video, I forget about it. So if you see me in real time, I'm not going to be conscious of which videos have just come out because I'm way down the road. Okay? So um, receiving and giving out, receiving and delivering, receiving messages and giving them. The viewer is independent from me. The viewer can watch the video or not, and the choice of whether the viewer humbles himself and receives or not, or just wants to sit back and do something else, that is none of my business. None of my business. So do you understand that this channel is for you it is a gift from the Lord for you if you want to grow, if you want to be set free, if you want to whatever his purposes are for you. So that's the question mark is because this is not my hula hoop. Here's my hula hoop right here. And then the viewer's hula hoop is over here. See? So I'm just delivering messages and the viewer has their own thing going between her, him and her, him or her, and God. Okay? So, but there's a boundary there because that's not my business. It's not my hula hoop. My hula hoop is just to listen and do what he tells me. And my prayer is that you will eventually listen and follow him in the same way um, as he enables you to do that. So, my job in this is that I'm a messenger. I'm just a messenger. I'm not a policeman. I'm not a policeman, and it is none of my business what you choose to receive or not, whether you follow the Holy Spirit or not, whether you do anything. Your business is not my business unless you come and want to meet with me and ask for help or ask me a question. See, it's not my business, so I'm not a policeman. In, in the context of this channel, I'm to listen to the Lord and deliver the message that he gives me. All of that other stuff out there is your business. You have your own relationship with the Lord. You, I pray that you're growing in every way possible, but I can't make you grow. I can't force you to grow. I can't arrest you and take you to jail if you don't grow. See, that's not my job and that's not my business. The bad part is that you're gonna reap what you sow if you don't grow, and that makes me sad. But still, that's not my business. So I hope this makes sense, and I hope that you will keep this context of the channel in mind and put all the videos that I do in this context. If someone is sad by something that I say, or angry because of something that I say, or has whatever emotion, that's perfectly fine. That's the Holy Spirit working in your heart. So you take that to the Lord and let him deal with your heart, okay? All the issues of our lives come from the heart, and this channel is mostly about the heart. Okay, so I hope that puts the channel in context for you and gives you more of an understanding of each video that I do and why I'm doing it, okay? I hope this is helpful, and I'll see you guys soon.